With the new One Piece trailer out, many people are now looking forward to another live-action anime. Which begs the question, why do most of them suck? From Ghost in the Shell to Dragon Ball, the examples are countless, and you may have seen one or two of them. So why do they fail? There's no reason for Death Note or Bebop to not work in live-action. They are so much more grounded than their counterparts in Shonen. Full Metal Alchemist, Attack on Titan, these make sense why they would fail without a large budget or type of CGI for those to work. But even those two failed, so why? For Japanese live-action anime adaptions, the budgets for these are rarely released, though the average live-action film budget in 2018 for Japanese films was around 460,000 USD, which is not a lot. You can think with the FMA example, for a manga that was very popular anime, it brought in $8 million to the box office. These are rare exceptions with low-budget movies. From the director of the FMA movie, that's right, well, since the characters are the two brothers, where there is Ed, there will always be Al. Even just based on that, the amount of CG used becomes enormous. I'm using technology that was used in Hollywood movies such as the Avengers. We're using a lot of new techniques that was never used in Japanese movies before. I would like to boost Japan's CG level with this movie. Attack on Titan came out during its anime release, so it brought in a lot more at $46 million, though similar problems did arise with the CGI, though this was before FMA. It's not a hot take that CGI tends to look bad in anime from background characters to weird looking mechs and cars, though there are several countless exceptions. Studio Orange has shown a great amount of wonderful shows with their CG. To say the entire country is bad is a very, very excessive. At least for anime, it's known that there's extremely tight workloads and tiny, tiny budgets that have caused the use of CGI to be used as a filler tool rather than a creative choice at times, creating this art that doesn't fit. Hence why when a team like Orange uses specifically to create better art, CGI is without a doubt improving in anime, but for live action, is this also true? We must remember that CGI has been used since the 90s, and it's extremely expensive animation, costing on average $570,000 per minute. From our earlier estimate, that's a lot more than the average movie at 460000 So yeah, it's not looking that great. Of course, this is the US pricing versus Japanese, but still. Japan's film market brought in 146 billion yen in 2022, or around 1 billion USD. Or, you know, two across the Spider-Verses. So a lack of experience and budget with CGI, is that all? Well, of course, some anime just doesn't adapt well. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is known for being, well, uh, bizarre, wacky, out there. Some of these designs just don't adapt well, and there's only so much you can do with iconic characters to look like themselves. Unlike comics, where liberty can be taken, anime characters, it feels strange to not see them with their iconic hair and outfits. Which strange looking at these highly saturated colors in a world that doesn't feel real of colors that no one would reasonably wear in a school setting. Is that not the point of live action movies to feel more grounded? Why does anyone want live action anime adaptions in the first place? To extend the brand, nothing gets anyone more angry or hyped than seeing their favorite manga or anime adapted in live action. But what about the US? Well, Death Note 2017 and Dragon Ball both have the same core. Both of these titles miss the point of the original creations. Death Note at its core is a story about two people fighting for what their justice means. One who th kills those who do wrong, and the other who is against someone being a judge, jury, and executioner. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding, and I will eliminate you. I am, I am justice. And there's this intense chase of cat and mouse, these wonderful, massive schemes that take your breath away with how the investigation goes, a wonderful tale with many iconic moments. The only big CG aspect of Death Note would be the Shinigamis, and that's why the Japanese adaption works so well. CGI doesn't really affect it that much. The USA adaption of Death Note is more of a horror movie out of Final Destination about an edgy kid being hunted down by a crazed man known as L. There's no schemes, and they don't really delve how L really investigated Kira. It misses the purpose. A good adaption should honor its source material. Now, this doesn't mean it needs to be accurate one-to-one. -one. Changes must always be necessary between mediums. Nothing translates so well. In my opinion, an adaption should honor its core theme and message of the adaption. That's why the Ghost of Shell animes work so well. While the 1995 and standalone complex neither adapts the original manga very perfectly, in fact, the manga is very lighthearted compared to its anime. It seems like the studios only want to make cash grabs of anime adaptions while not caring what is made knowing that the weebs will probably flock to it. So is there no hope for live action anime? Of course not, there's many good adaptions. The Japanese Death Note movies, Lady Snowblood, the Bleach movie are great. I've heard Old Boy is good too, that's what my roommate says at least. These movies need love and care like a normal movie team. That's both passionate about a project that's not unreasonable. It's no wonder that Ayazawa's manga does so well in both forms. They are slice of life animes in a sense, more grounded. Does the Death Note One Piece look bad? 
maybe compared to like Marvel CGI, but compared to like anime CGI, no, it looks fine. I have faith it'll be good. Even if it's by the studio that made Cowboy Bebop, that does bring fear to it. But Oda does approve of it. Oh, and yeah, it looks good, you cowards.